Morning guys, welcome back to the off-grid cabin build video series here on our homestead in North Idaho. Check out that bad boy, huh? 2,500 2, gallons of water storing capacity. Yes, you've been, maybe you've watched some of our well videos, the hand dug well did not turn out so good. And so we're resorting to plan B, plan C, will later be to install a professionally dug well, but right now we don't have the funds for that. And so we're gonna be storing water. And that bad boy right there, it's gonna go right here. We're gonna dig down about three feet, connect to our water line right here, which runs down under here and goes in the house. And then we will have running water in the house. Gutters down the roof to collect rainwater. Plus we can transfer from public water sources like we do here with this tote. Basically, we're enlarging our tote and having a lot more water. So we get to dig a, dig a hole three feet deep. Man, how big around is this thing? Not big around. I don't know what that is. That's like 10 feet across right there. I bet. We're gonna measure it and find out. Our makeshift door. If you didn't see yesterday's video, this is where we're living. Let me just go ahead and give you a quick tour here really quick before we get into uh, into today's video kids are sleeping right there we're sleeping right here basically it's a semi-warm place he got us out of the tents last night we've got a week now of um like low 30s mid 20s at night temperatures and so we wanted to get out of our tents it was time we got that insulated now we can do that we need to take measure here Southern, no. will you help Hi. me measure please <laughs> all right what are we measuring we're gonna measure the, I think it's diameter. Is diameter straight across? Yep. Yep, we're gonna measure the diameter of this tank. You take a guess, before we measure, take a guess. What do you think? How many feet? I'm guessing 10. Seven or eight. Seven or eight, let's find out. Can you hold it there in the middle? Let's go up a little higher. Let's go up a little. Here, hold on, get, the, get it tight, straight. Eight. You Go up a little. Down yeah, about eight. Eight feet, huh? Yeah. We'll dig a ten-foot hole probably, so we've got plenty of space around it because it won't be perfect. That means we need a two. We need a stick and a five-foot string, huh? Yes. A stick and a five-foot yeah. string. All right, let's get cracking. Are we just rolling? Yep, we're gonna try to roll it right off. Okay. Just roll it right here. So we can. could put like OSB right here to smoothen it so it wouldn't be such a drop. I think you should be the director and we'll be the pitcher. All right, so we're gonna try Joel's idea. OSB here, just to kind of slow it down. We'll see. All right. I can't really pull from here. Okay, just tell us when. Go. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, we got it balanced. A little bit more. Little bit more. Okay, come over here. Go over there? Yep. You got it? Um, okay, hold on. L release a little bit. Uh, no, my way a little bit more. Whoa. A little bit more. Okay. For some reason, the camera stopped, but we got it down successfully. No major problems. Now it's time to dig a big hole. couple hours of toil and sweat condensed down into a few seconds for you guys. Check it out. We're making good progress. A couple of feet down now, at least here on the, the deep side. Building a kiddie pool. Oh, but it's lunchtime, guys. So, so see what Jules has fixed for us today. What do you think? <laughs> Looks good. Did you see it already? Yeah. Sarah, look at the hole you didn't help dig. Dad, I was doing other stuff. <laughs> Sarah's still doing school. Seth's really? already done for the day. We're only half free shovels anyway. I'm gonna help. I'm almost done. I just got some college algebra homework to do. We're and almost done. Well, I may help and then do it. Oh, okay. It's coming along good. Yeah. We just got, we got to finish this side over here. Flatten it out and see. Hopefully that'll be deep mm -hmm. enough. Frost line here is two feet or 24 inches. Next so if we go down 24 inches and then later after we get the tank full of water, We'll pile this up around it. So it'll actually be like three, maybe four feet 
right underground of insulated protection. So it should be fine. But, ooh, stir fry. That looks good. With rice, maybe? Ooh, with rice. See there, we really did move out. We are out of there. Oh, thank you for the lunch, Jules. Welcome, it was really good. Great, Mom. Let's go dig some more. Hey Sally, how you doing up there? Hopefully we're being safe enough for Sally. Safe enough for you guys as well. Check out the hole. Bam, buddy, look at that bad boy. Ooh, so smooth, so level. How deep is it? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked, man. That's probably not safe. All right, let's see here. Put you guys down here, ground level. What are we at? Three feet. Look at that. Three feet. Yep, I'd say three feet. Plus, when we mound this dirt around the tank, it's going to be four or five feet deep. Oh, look at that. That's crazy, huh? All right, so this tank right here, guys, is not designed to bury. So we're not burying it. We are submerging it below the surface, just like three feet. So it'll be fine. We'll, um, we'll put it in here. And once it's full up past the soil level, then you can backfill it. You can't backfill it before that otherwise you could cave it in and so but once once it's full past the soil level backfill it and then as that ground settles it will just form a hole around it and it won't want to cave in if you happen to drain it all the way once it's all settled down and packed down really good so give it six months yeah. to a year you know over a, a winter then uh should be good to go yeah. Whew. we're gonna have a lot of water hopefully check it out guys some exciting progress is about to start. What is that? <clears throat> what could that be? That, guys, is the metal for our roof. All right, let's see how they get this long thing down the driveway between the trees. Bends a little bit, huh? It's got a little bit of a bow in it. There you go. Turns totally sideways. You can drive right down narrow areas. That is pretty cool. Look at how yellow the larch is. Pretty soon, all of its needles are gonna be gone. Along with that one too. All oh, those ones over there. We got one over there through the forest over there. Now it's back to regular forklift style. Sure doesn't look like a lot, does it? And cover that whole house with that little bit right there. Bam, look who showed up, guys. Nice little surprise visit. Imagine Acre Wood is here. What's going on, guys? Hey, what's up? Hello, man. How's it going? <laughs> David, tell them, tell them what you do on your channel. Yeah, guys. Uh, we uh, kind of are homesteaders, I guess, off-graders. Um, we live in a tiny cabin. Actually, kind of the same size as footprint, I guess, as Martin Joy's, but we don't have the loft. And we raise yaks, pigs, goats, all that kind of stuff. That's right, yaks, guys. You want to know anything about yaks? This is the channel to go to, guys. And you brought tools. Brought Sweet. Tools. For the uh, plumbing. Pex tools. What's your name? I'm Addison. Addison? Are you his? No. What's your name? Audrey. Audrey? You guys look awful alike. We're twins. You're twins? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. And what's your name back there? With uh, what kind of hat you got on there? Imagine Acrewood. Oh, imagine Acrewood hat. Are those for sale? Yeah. Those are for sale? They are. Oh, sweet. All right, check out their channel, guys. They're really cool hats, actually. Yeah, did you just lose that? Well, I haven't gotten that far oh. yet. I haven't gotten that far. And, and who's this? Uh, Lisa. Lisa. And who's this? This is Uriah. 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 All right, guys. Coming soon. Coming soon. Guys, go ahead and check out their channel. There will be um, a card right up here. You can go ahead and check out their channel or look down in the description below. You'll see it there as well. Sorry guys, I totally forgot to set the camera up. We got the tank in the hole. So we've got our pipe coming in here. 
we're gonna put our valve and union right there to connect it up to it. And there's some water down there because we did put um, maybe 100 gallons in there or so to make sure that that um, bulkhead's not leaking. So we're here, we're not gonna backfill it yet. We're gonna wait for that, but we will put a valve on this and then uh, start filling it with water. And then later we'll hook it up after we get the plumbing inspection done. So for now, we're just going to um, put a valve on it, like I said earlier. So we're gonna glue it up, get the valve on there, and then it'll be sealed and we can connect the hose to it here in a minute. Or not in a minute, but later. <laughs> after, probably after we get it inspected. Back to using the pretty colored glues. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we got it really deep, didn't we? Like three feet, huh? Yeah, three feet deep. So exciting. Yeah, we shouldn't have a problem with it freezing once we <laughs> yeah. get it filled in. That was a lot of work. Seth said that he's sore today. So sore. <laughs> Where's the sorest part of you? My back <laughs> and my abs. You're back in your abs. Yeah. <laughs> we just put a, I'm gonna put a short piece on here, but it will be long enough that we can cut it if we need to and, and do something else with it later. But um, I didn't want to put the valve right up against it because if we did, then we couldn't cut it if we needed to, if we had some kind of problem later. And so this way, there'll be enough space probably. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll find out here in a minute. Why is there two types? One is a primer. Mm -hmm. The purple one's a primer. Yeah. And then the other one's the actual cement or glue. Okay. The clear one. We're not gonna glue the valve on now because I want, it, I want the valve to be upright when it's done. So we'll put this in and tighten it up really good. And then we'll put the valve on so it's straight up and down. beautiful man yeah so that's two inches and we're going down to a one inch yeah, hose one inch. right uh -huh. it's one inch going into the house we're going to use this stuff rather than teflon tape because i seem to i trust it better <laughs> i don't want it to leak i don't want to have to turn it and then have the valve be in the wrong direction when i'm done so we'll use this stuff that stuff looks so weird though somebody will probably say this is not for potable water that could be true I don't know if it is or not, but we're using it for potable water. What's that? The glue? Yeah. Mm. Doesn't say anything about not being used for potable water. And the drinking water that we have too, we filter with a catadine filter. And this shouldn't come in contact with the water anyway, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it does, it's just for just a little tiny bit of it. Then it'll it'll be gone after a couple tankfuls, I would have bet anyway. What is that stuff called? It's called pipe thread sealant. Slow set, lead free for plastic and metal pipes. Hey, by the way, what happened to your eye? <laughs> I hit it with a shovel. <laughs> Safety Sally wasn't watching out for me. <laughs> yes, look, I hit it with the end of a shovel. Tex, why are you sitting on me? <laughs> Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> He's on sitting here. on me. I don't think you want to over tighten this, otherwise, you could break this fitting here. So we'll just get it good. Hand tight, as tight as we can. Hope that's good. <laughs> Should be sealed. I would think so. We'll find out, I guess. That. So it'd be like that. And then later, we'll build a box here, insulate it, and then we can come down with a pipe and you could open and close the valve if you have to. Or you could just open it up and reach down in there. Nice. Yeah. Oh. And this pipe will connect to it with a union. Be good, man. Let me glue this up. All right, we're good, guys. Let's start filling it up. Make sure, make sure, make sure it doesn't leak. Hopefully it doesn't. We already checked it once, but who knows. Fill it up and, uh, then we'll have 2,500 gallons of storage here. <laughs> Once we get our roof on, we'll put the gutters on and we'll start filling it up with rainwater. But as it is for now, every time we go to town, we'll get a tote full of water. That's 375 gallons. Seth, how many trips is it gonna take to fill this bad boy up? Six. 2,500 gallons. More than six. More than six times. So Just maybe a week or so. <laughs> Two weeks, maybe, we'll have it full. Cleaning up our pile a little bit. Yeah, cleaning it up so when we walk around it, we don't just keep smashing it into the ground. Don't walk on top, because we're going to have to put it back in there. We're going to have to move all this dirt around the tank. Yeah. So, the less we pack it down, 
the bed. Okay, so what are we doing? Moving the tools, because I think we're going to have to back up that trailer. Okay. All right. Hose in. I don't know if that's going to hold it. Put something heavy on top of it. Good job, Seth. Thanks. Good job, Tuxer. Good job, buddy. What are you doing? How are we gonna fill this bad boy? Well, we got our tote right here. Water, gravity feeding from the tote into this tote, which is what we normally use to run our kitchen over there and our bathroom over there. So we got the pump running here. Comes out of this T right here. This goes to the bathroom over there to the bathroom. This one right here is then running to the tank. So for now, what we're gonna do is, every time we go to town, we're gonna fill up one of these. It takes about 20 minutes to fill up a tote like that. And then we're gonna transfer it to here. At the same time, transferring it into here. If you'd like to see more about what's going on on our homestead, guys, there is a video right over there that you might like to go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling. And I'll see you right over there in that video in just a second.